And efforts continue to find and identify victims of the fire in Butte County. Members of our local sheriff's departments are there on the ground, helping in the search and recovery. The Fresno and Tulare County Sheriff's Departments sent their coroners and deputies as a mutual aid request. CBS 47's Bailey Miller is live from the Fresno County Sheriff's Office. She spoke with a lieutenant there about what they're facing. Bailey. Catherine, the lieutenant I spoke with says pictures and videos just don't do the devastation justice. He says this is the first time ever the Fresno County Sheriff's Office has gotten a mutual aid request for coroners, just showing the amount of death and devastation this fire has caused. The destruction from the campfire can be seen for miles. Thousands of structures destroyed. Homes are now piles of rubble or even less, just ash, and hundreds are still missing. While the flames rage on, the search and recovery efforts are already beginning. On Sunday, our local departments deployed. The Tulare County Sheriff's Office sent five deputies, a sergeant and a detective coroner, while the Fresno County Sheriff sent a lieutenant and two deputy coroners. Yeah, the devastation is... Uh... It's hard to comprehend. Lieutenant Robert Woodrum with the Fresno County Sheriff's and two other deputies say it's unlike anything they've ever seen before. Typically our deputy coroners here, they know what they're going to. Somebody's already found the body. So we had to be uh, taught what to look for. Woodrum says the fire's temperatures were so intense that some victims have literally been incinerated, leaving them with very little evidence to go on. Uh, the people that we have recovered out of these homes are basically uh, skeletons. But finding the victims has been an incredible feat in itself because they're dealing with dangerous obstacles like downed wires, trees, and collapsing homes. Oftentimes, they don't even know what they're standing on. We had somebody fall into a septic tank. But Woodrum says he won't stop because he wants to bring peace to the families who have lost so much. We owe it to them to find them. And Lieutenant Woodrum and the two other deputies will be heading home tomorrow. They will be replaced by three others as well as 14 search and rescue volunteers from the Sheriff's Office. Live in Fresno, I'm Bailey Miller, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.